Good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon. Your sign out says, we like Bitcoin. Do you like Bitcoin? Yes. yes. Well, you'll probably like it more by the end of this afternoon. Hi, I'm Jimmy Wynn, and I am from Los Angeles, actually, though I spend a lot of time in London, where our N-Chain business is based. My role there is as Chief IP Communications and Legal Officer, which is a very long-winded way of saying I help manage a lot of things at this growing business. I'm Vietnamese by heritage, and my last name is pronounced in the United States as close as possible, like Nguyen. So I'm here today to talk to you about how we believe Bitcoin can help everyone in the world, not just people in the Bitcoin ecosystem, win. And that provides amazing opportunities for all of you as students and people looking to forge new careers and how you can win in this ecosystem. A lot of businesses in the Bitcoin world focus on one particular aspect. They're a wallet, they're an exchange, they provide code. We as a business believe in a much bigger paradigm, which is that if we are successful, we can create win-wins for everyone, meaning that everyone involved in Bitcoin in the world can achieve wins. We're not here to uh, defeat another business. We're not here necessarily to be better than some other business. In fact, we as a business are trying to enable larger growth on the Bitcoin network. And what does that mean? We wanted to really do two things. We want to enable and make it easier for companies to perform more complicated functionality on the Bitcoin network. And I'm going to talk about that today. Because right now, that's one of its challenges and why it hasn't spread and grown as fast as it could. Secondly, we want to find solutions to help the Bitcoin network scale larger and faster, because that has been one of its limitations. As fascinating and powerful as it is, it needs to scale larger. So as a business, we have created the talent and facilities to create this enablement that will help everyone in the Bitcoin ecosystem win. Because if we are successful at doing those two things, scaling the network larger with our solutions, and making it easier for companies to operate on the Bitcoin blockchain, then it's going to grow the value of Bitcoin will grow even larger than it is today. And if you've been watching the price growth over the last year, it's been pretty astronomical. And its utility to everyone will grow into huge wins. So let me tell you about Enchain. The Enchain business, uh, in its origins, was birthed by Dr. Craig Wright, our chief scientist, with businesses in Australia. Um, the assets were acquired, and the business was moved to London. And we've built what is a research and development business that is focused on finding these technological solutions to enable more usage of the Bitcoin blockchain. We've built a pretty good team, as you can see. It's highly qualified. We've got a range of people. Over 15 have PhDs. Over 15 have master's degrees in science. And there's over 20 bachelor's degrees in sciences in the mix. They're across many disciplines. And that's something that's important to the Bitcoin blockchain world. We have researchers and professionals in physics, mathematics, data science, and computing. And that's important because the Bitcoin world is very multidisciplinary. And your experience at a school like this will really be powerful to help you be successful in that world. Our team comes from many different countries. As you can see here, flags represented from all over the world. The international nature of our team, I think, provides a diversity of thinking, which allows us to find the creativity of solutions that we need to fulfill some of Dr. Wright's great vision you're going to hear about. And we're producing an increasing amount of output and volume. What our team does is take ideas born out of Dr. Wright's head or their own for new innovations and functions that we can done on the Bitcoin blockchain, uh, develop them into research and white papers that are fleshing out the ideas. And those turn into patent applications that we have filed to try and protect our innovations. And to date, our company has filed over 128 patent applications in the United Kingdom and are beginning the process of internationalizing them. So we've developed a rather large, robust, and powerful IP and research program. And we also have a development team that is coding and developing some functionality based upon those things. And we're looking for more help. So students like you might be of um, particular interest to working with our Enchain group. Um, the goal of this, as I said, is to enable a world where the Bitcoin network helps everyone win. Our patent applications that we have filed so far cut across many industry sectors. We get asked about this a lot. And I'm sure if you've read um, about our company, people have this sort of uh, misunderstanding that we're out here to patent the blockchain. 
That is not what we are doing. What we are trying to do is find innovation to make it easier for all of these kinds of sectors and products and services you see on screen, from financial services to legal, digital content, healthcare, uh, companies in all these industries to do more, and we're protecting that innovation. So we have a very wide-scoped business that is interested in a lot of ideas, and it's an exciting time to work in the Bitcoin and blockchain world. I know you're very excited probably to hear from Dr. Wright himself. He's going to talk to you uh, in a few moments about what is really true Bitcoin and what is its future potential, particularly in a world now where we have a forked chain where there's both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and the possibility of even future forks. He's going to talk to you about that, but I want to take the next few moments to just give you an idea of some of the kinds of things we've been working on at Enchain and how this may really provide powerful tools for the Bitcoin network. So on screen, you see a list of some of the key innovations that we have created already that are the subject of seven of our patent applications that have become public. I want to give you just a quick overview of what they do. Uh, there's a lot more technical detail, of course, to them, so we're not going to get into that today. But it'll give you a flavor of some of the innovation being done at Enchain. So the first is a deterministic key generation technique. And what this does is provide a security solution because as you know, the Bitcoin world has been subject to hacks where exchanges holding large amounts of Bitcoin control through private keys have been hacked. And what if that couldn't happen anymore? What if the exchange never really held the private keys of a consumer? And therefore, even if you hacked into the exchange, a hacker could not uh, breach the security of actually the Bitcoin value. This innovation provides that solution. What it does is enable a secure communication between a pair of nodes uh, or parties on a network without the need to store a common secret. And that common secret is instead separately determined by each party through what we call a deterministic key that is on the, created on the basis of a shared message so that the exchange or no party in the middle never holds the full private key and this common secret's created only when necessary to um, effectuate a transaction. The benefit is increased security, and that's important to encourage more usage of Bitcoin and the Bitcoin network. A second innovation related to this is what we call the secure split key innovation. If you read patent applications, they all have much longer titles, but I've tried to synthesize them for you. And what the secure split key innovation does is it's a technique to split a cryptographic key into a plurality of shares. And those are each stored and controlled separately, so no one node or person has all of the shares of the key. But it can be regenerated and used when necessary to effectuate a transaction. And again, this provides a powerful security tool, because then it avoids the risk of some central party or no node holding the private key and being subject to hack. A third innovation is this agent-based Turing um, complete transactions. So as those of you who follow Bitcoin probably know, the scripting language in Bitcoin is relatively primitive. And that was intentional by design because it provides security features. However, of course, a lot of people want to code more complicated functionality, things like smart contracts on the Bitcoin blockchain, and haven't been able to figure out how to do it. And so these restrictions eliminate, uh, limit the complicated functionality that can be done. It's given birth to other um, alternative chains, such as Ethereum, which is you know, uh, advertised as a vehicle for smart contracting. We believe at Enchain that all of that functionality can and, in fact, should be done on the Bitcoin blockchain, on the Bitcoin network. And that's what our solutions are driven towards. As Craig will discuss, we are Bitcoin maximalists. We don't think that we need altcoins to do these things people say are necessary on them. We think they can be done on the Bitcoin blockchain. And with this particular patent application, what Craig, who's the inventor, by the way, of all of these I'm talking about today, uh, demonstrates that the Bitcoin network can actually uh, be used uh, with its blockchain to act as the tape of a total Turing machine. And if you do that, you create a new computing paradigm where more complicated functionality can be programmed onto the Bitcoin network. It opens up this whole new world of possibilities. Um, 
And one of those possibilities, as an example of a particular function that can be used to, is secure voting regime. So this is a particular application that we have filed, which demonstrates how you can do secure voting um, with the ability to track the votes um, based upon the uh, public key that's used essentially to be uh, associated with a person's public vote. Um, once the ballot's been submitted, the agent can count the votes that have been published um, uh, onto the block based on the number of votes cast. And you can do cool things like allow cutoffs after which no vote can be valid any longer based on the so height of the block or just on a timestamp. Um, so it provides a more automated, efficient way to track things like public voting in elections, corporate shareholding, right, shareholder votes, which have to be tracked right now through some intermediary. And it um, supports that ethos of Bitcoin eliminating intermediaries and making things more efficient. A big topic in the blockchain world is smart contracts. How can you do smart contracts? And a lot of people think it cannot be done on the Bitcoin blockchain. We believe completely the opposite. In fact, we believe it's the safest, most secure place to do them. This technique covered by this application is an initial step on the road. It doesn't solve all the problems, but what it does is create a registry and automated management method for a certain type of blockchain enforced smart contracts. And those would be things like auto-renewing contracts in particular. You see these a lot with things like digital content. For example, your Spotify account, maybe your cloud storage account on you know, uh, Dropbox, for example, or a Skype account, or if you've got Hulu or Netflix to watch you know, entertainment content. You, you sign up, you probably commit to a certain period of time, and then after that period of time, the, the contract auto-renews and your credit card gets automatically charged. Right now, that's often managed with an independent database to match up the customer and the license information. This is a technique to do that automatically um, powered on the blockchain. So if you are the content distributor, the person providing access to the software or services, you can do it on the blockchain without an intermediary database. And it creates uh, improved efficiencies. And it builds upon that deterministic key generation technique I spoke about at the beginning. Finally, I want to mention two digital rights management innovations that our team with Craig has created um, because people look at blockchain technology as another way to more efficiently distribute music content, movie content, um, you know, photographic content. You see it all over the web. So we've got a couple of in innovations we've already created that relates to the blockchain world. Um, Digital rights management um, is a ripe source for intermediaries to be disrupted, and this enables that. So this technique will work for any content that has an executable phase. And that, you might think, begins with like software and computer programs, but it can include other things, a music file, an audiovisual file, even a PDF file. And it allows that um, uh, file to check against blockchain recorded data to make sure the person who's trying to access it both has a license and that the license is still valid in time or payment. That can all be done automatically on the blockchain. And finally, this is another DRM management technique which Craig has created, which um, addresses something that the last technique doesn't. The last technique is dependent upon the content file having an executable phase. But what if you wanted to license a lot of content in advance, particularly with episodic series? You see this a lot going, oh, I'm HBO, and I want to get you to pay in advance for the entire season of Game of Thrones or you know, some series of content. Rather than depending on an executable phase in the content, this technique um, allows you to have the consumer get access to an entire season or series of content, but then only pay for what they watch automatically charged and recorded through the blockchain. So this is just a small taste of the variety of things we are doing at Enchain. We are doing so much more. Our vision is that with these kinds of techniques and implementations in the real world based upon them, more and more companies, more and more consumers will actually begin to use work on the Bitcoin blockchain. Altcoins become unnecessary. And as you can see, there's been this whole rise of ICO craziness, which for altcoins that really don't have a purpose, 
We think that can all be done on the Bitcoin network. And if you share in that vision, what you'll see is the potential value of Bitcoin as both a cryptocurrency and a technology opportunity will increase the value monetarily of all the Bitcoin that's held out in the world. It will create amazing opportunities for young professionals like you. And I think it will create a whole world where we think everybody wins.